The Northrop XP-56 Black Bullet was a prototype fighter interceptor, built during World War II. It never entered production. The original design of the XP-56 was an aircraft with only a small vertical tail, powered by an experimental engine. It was to be constructed in magnesium, and had an unusual design that was hoped to have less aerodynamic drag than a conventional design. The XP-56 was designed for the liquid-cooled Pratt & Whitney X-1800 engine, in a pusher configuration, driving contra-rotating propellers. Design work began in June 1940, and a prototype was ordered by the U.S. Army in September the same year. When Pratt & Whitney stopped development of the X-1800, it was substituted for the R-2800, which was not considered entirely suitable. The reason a magnesium alloy was used for the airframe and skin was that aluminium was in short supply during the war. When the first engine runs were tested, the Pratt & Whitney engine failed, due to excessive propeller shaft flex. This led to a five-month delay. When taxi tests were begun in April 1943, a serious yaw problem was discovered. Some effort was put into solving this problem, and the first flight took place September 30th the same year. The yaw problem was eventually discovered to be caused by a lack of aerodynamic stability, and the vertical stabilizer was enlarged to solve the problem. On October 8, 1943, the first XP-56 prototype was destroyed when the tire on the left gear blew out during a high-speed taxi. The pilot survived. The second prototype was modified to move the center of gravity forward, and had a larger upper vertical tail. The rudder control linkages were also reworked. It flew for the first time March 23, 1944, but was reported to suffer from extreme yaw sensitivity. After a number of flights, further testing was considered too hazardous, and the project was abandoned. Only the two prototypes were produced. <music> <laughs>